What's going on guys, I'm Enstin Maze, bringing you the latest Pokemon anime news and updates. So recently we got a brand new summary and preview for episode 83 of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime, Ash Becomes Small, airing specifically on August 2nd. With that said, let's firstly take a look at the summary. The summary states, quote, Faber has come to the Pokemon school as a special teacher. It appears he has prepared a machine that can turn anything small no matter how big it is in order to teach everyone how awesome science is. But the machine runs out of control. Ash, Lily and Sophocles end up becoming tiny. Not only that, but trouble occurs and the group ends up outside the school. It's time for Tiny Ash and his tiny friends to go on a big adventure. How will it turn out? End quote. Looks like a pretty interesting story. And moving on to the preview, the preview shows us exactly what the summary stated, just giving us pretty much two new things which is seeing what the adventure outside the school is. Basically the gang meeting many Pokemon, such as the Denes, a Confei, and even encountering trouble with an Alolan Persian, which these scenes to me personally look pretty funny, and I cannot wait to see how they play out. If you're a regular viewer, you will know that I originally thought that the idea for this episode was going a bit too far, making me not know how to feel about the episode overall. And well, as you can see from my thoughts now, after I'd watched the preview, I'm starting to find the fun factor with this episode, like many of you saw beforehand. Like seriously, it just screams fun, and even made me keep a smile throughout the entire preview. So that's lovely how I'm starting to admire this idea. I cannot express enough how much I adore seeing Ash and his friends riding on their Pokemon too. That's huge Diamond and Pearl nostalgia for me there, as Diamond and Pearl was a part of my childhood, which we had an episode similar to this. But of course, there's also new fun that will be put into this episode, so that nostalgia along with this new fun just makes a very lovely mixture for me. When taking a look at the whole story though, I'm pretty sure we all know how it's going to play out, hence why I'm making a news video instead of a full preview breakdown slash discussion like I usually do, if you're a regular viewer. Basically, it's Faber accidentally making three characters small like we witnessed, and then they end up on an accidental adventure outside the school, and then the characters will become normal size towards the end of the episode, as come on, they won't stay tiny forever. But I bet you there's going to be one of those non-canical comedic endings, where they do become normal size again, but something else bad happens, as it's a kind of cliche for those things to happen with these kind of plots, you know. Plus, I think it'll just be pretty funny to see something like that happen anyway. Uh, Pokemon School though, keep Faber away from kids. He is a dangerous man around them. <laughs> Even if it was accidental to make this character small, nah, he's still very untrusted. Uh, one final thing I do want to mention for this adventure element of this episode though, is that I wish we got to see all the classmates got shrunk, as only half of them did. I feel like it would have made things two times more entertaining, and even showed their teamwork amazingly, with obstacles they would have to overcome. But that's such a small nitpick, and I can understand why they only chose three characters, as maybe the other characters will help Faber try and make the gang become normal size once again. Finally, for this preview though, the final new thing we see, and the thing I care the most about, is seeing Lily in her original outfit with a ponytail. We've never seen that before, and it looks pretty cute. This also for sure confirms more that Lily only puts her hair in a ponytail when she goes on big adventures and has to be serious, which I definitely love seeing the somewhat alter ego. Makes it stand out compared to her game self as well, I would say. So you know, if you're still confused about why Lily switches back and forth between her ponytail, there's your answer. As yes to those guys who knew about the ponytail thing, I've gotten many comments before asking why she actually goes back and forth. But damn, um, yeah. I can't get over that we're actually finally seeing Lily with a ponytail in her original outfit. It looks cute. But yeah, overall, that's all the new news we got for this episode, along with me giving some of my thoughts, which were 90% positive. So hopefully that means you will give this episode a chance. For sure for me, it looks like an unforgettable, funny, yet also cute experience. In fact, let me know in the comments down below your overall thoughts on this episode so far. I love to hear. And if you were informed with the latest Pokemon anime news and just enjoyed this overall video, then be sure to leave a like and a subscribe for future Pokemon content. It helps out a ton. You'll also become a member of the Entity Squad, where Lily herself is even a Entity Squad member. She's warm too. It's so warm. Ah, that will never get old to me. <laughs> But yeah, if Lily is with us, why wouldn't you join the Entity Squad? She's a precious, adorable cinnamon roll. Apparently she also knows what outfit I love the most from her, that's not her sea-powered outfit. 
Anyway, there's today's subscriber shout out, and this is Entity Maze, signing out. Thank you for watching.